What if I told you a mountain erupted blood? In 1919, Mount Tambora in Indonesia wasn't just a volcano. It was a murderous beast waiting to unleash hell. The mountain had been silent for centuries, but that year, something terrifying awakened. On April 10th, the volcano began to groan. Local villagers watched in horror as the mountain's skin split open, spewing molten rock and toxic gases. Within 24 hours, the eruption had killed 10,000 people instantly. But the real horror was just beginning. The volcanic ash spread across the globe, blocking sunlight and creating a year without summer. Temperatures dropped dramatically. Crops failed worldwide. Entire regions faced unprecedented famine. In Europe and North America, farmers watched their fields turn gray and lifeless. Corn, wheat, and rice withered under ash-darkened skies. An estimated 100,000 people died in the aftermath, not from the initial eruption, but from starvation and cold. Families sold everything they owned for a single loaf of bread. Children walked hundreds of miles searching for food. The world had transformed into a gray, desperate landscape. Scientists now understand this wasn't just a volcanic event. It was a global catastrophe that reshaped human civilization. The ash cloud circled the planet for months, creating apocalyptic conditions that no one could escape. One survivor later wrote, The sky rained death and the earth forgot how to breathe. Mount Tambora's eruption wasn't just a geological event. It was a brutal reminder of nature's terrifying power, how quickly everything we know can vanish beneath a cloud of ash and silent, suffocating darkness.